Hey guys, so something for you, Amy is an advanced brain detector, so this one is a little bit different from the normal ones, as it's not going to use as many flint steel as the other ones. So, as the sky is clear right now, and it's not raining, it's not going to be, it's not going to test for if it's raining or not, so it's not going to use the flint steel that is on this dispenser, and not going to use as many flint steel as a normal one. Now I got this idea from a guy who made a very compact rain detector. I think it was five four five five by three by four, but I don't remember the the guy's name right now. So I'm gonna put his video and his channel in the description if you want to check him out. Um yeah. Now continue on, on this design. It's gonna it's not going to test for if it's raining or not if the sky is clear, but if it starts raining, it's going to start running the system. And yes, as I said, because it's going to be raining, it's going to give an output over here because yeah, that's what a brain detector does. But yeah, if it stops raining and the sky is clear once more, it's going to lock it once more and not going to, it's not going to detect for rain again. <laughs> But yeah, the way the system works is by using the light detector and the light detector, and because when it's raining, the daylight detect when the daylight detector gives a lower output because the light level will be a little bit lower. We can use that for testing if it's the sky is clear. So if the if the sky is giving a um, bright a bright light and giving a strong output from the daylight detector and from that we can lock the system if it's too too bright but yeah we can also lock the system by flicking this lever if it's raining or if the sky is clear sorry if the sky is dark because when the sky is dark it's also going to it's also going to detect if it's raining or not but it's not going to it's not going to give an output because yeah, it's not raining and if you want you can lock it but yeah I think that's basically it so now let's go with the redstone sorry the tutorial so first of all you're gonna start with a dispenser full with flint steel and you're gonna put a, well, a hopper here with flint steel if you want to you can also put um can you also put an upside down slime and or a glowstone but I like the hopper more because you can put the flint seal as I said. Now over here I'm gonna put a um, stick piston facing up with a cauldron. Oh, damn it! <laughs> and a cauldron over here with water inside of it. And be sure not to do what I did, what I did over there. And to take an output, I'm gonna put a um, block here and um, redstone dust that's going to power this dispenser and that's why this can be a solid block otherwise it's, it would it would power this this piston now from here from here we're gonna put a repeater on three ticks that's going to but power this piston so this is a um, but switch and as you can see every time it triggers it's going to lit the fire once more so if the fire goes off it's going to update this piston but it's going to put another fire so it's it continues testing for if it's the fire is there now from here we're gonna put um gonna take an output to know if the fire went off and gonna put um, two two comparators in a loop so that's um post lighter and gonna go into another post lighter over here into more comparators over here and yeah now the your outputs will be from here so if the fire goes off it's not going to this won't be this won't turn off at in time to let the start channel but if this fire goes off multiple times in a row it's going to let this torch turn on as you can see right there but yeah now that's the basic the basic system now for locking it if it's too too bright or too dark you're gonna put a comparator here in a hopper here with three unstacked vitals and 17 stack vitals so that would be power enough to know if it's the if the, the light detector is given a strong output 
and speaking of the daylight detector we're gonna put on one over here and yeah that's basically it now we're just gonna put on repeater here going to a redstone tower so it's going to it's going to power this this line if it, the system is turned off now i'm gonna put them lever here if you want to stop the system in time and as you can see if we didn't have this torch over here it's, it would give an output as if it was raining so we need a torch over here but yeah i think that's basically it so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time